so just got back to the shop um, so testing didn't go well um, we were clearly clearly damaged the engine with the over rev when the prop shaft broke and uh, everything seemed absolutely fine and we obviously we checked through the engine best we can but clearly bottom end weakened it let go I don't know just under 120 mile an hour vibration and then massive mess big hole outside the engine so I don't know that was like half past four this afternoon it's now half past six uh, just got the got the boat back in the shop and guys are up in there trying to clean up a massive mess um, got the forklift ready to um, looking at pulling the engine out so yeah guys are in here it's absolutely horrendous there's oil everywhere so we can't even get in there at the minute spaffed up around everywhere um, bits of shrapnel flying around there's a hole in the side of that engine down there um, we'll get a better look later on but um, guys are in there get it clean and we will get the engine out tonight uh, we got we leave early hours of Friday morning probably three o'clock so we got I don't know a few days but um, yeah we'll get it all sorted won't we won't we? We'll get it fixed, won't we? Won't we? Over this side. It's um, Sunday, um, finished quite late last night but not too bad. So spare engine that we had no history on, pulled all the bottom end apart, checked everything there, everything looks really good. It's new, essentially I said it's done dyno time um, and that would it be it I would say. Um, so bottom end's all back, looking like that. So now just pulling the crank damper off, going to change the timing belt because we know this engine's been stood around for seven years. Um, uh, but it's all looking really good. Um, do the valve clearances and then start swapping over some ancillaries so we can um, do a compression check. But pistons look new, bores look new. Um, I think um, we may be okay. Um, it's a couple of differences as there always is, so we're going to have to do a couple of little adaptions and, and bits. But um, yeah, guys have been in the workshop. They're still cleaning the boat. It's had like 15 litres of oil. It's puked out everywhere. You like guys? So there and there, it's looking better. Um, we'll drag the boat out in the next hour or so and get the other engine out, pull it into. And then I will do some on that and juggle some bits of family life as well. Apologise to everyone um, and uh, carry on and get some more done. So today we're cleaning the aftermath. Um, just trying to get rid of all the oil where it's been. Been working on it for a few hours now, so it's looking a lot better than it was. Even Luna's excited at the thought of the engine going back in. She might be able to go home, isn't you? Hey, eh? yeah, Luna. You might be able to go home. Oh, that's all she wants. What you got? So you think you're ready? Ready. What time is it? <sighs> Don't know, no idea. 10 o'clock? She goes, it's 10 o'clock. Been quite hard work, Look, probably looking, not looking so good, but um, the engine will be in, you're done. Yeah, so when there's time later in the season, or after the season, we'll pull it all apart and find out what the real damage is. Maybe we get lucky and the block's okay. I don't know if we'll be lucky with the uh, crankshaft, but you never know. All right, so here's, here's the, what, what they pulled out of the engine, which is the conrod that's broken. It's a little 
broken bolts. I'm assuming it's because we the A bolt at least sheared and then the rest of it's been sent around and smashed up. I mean if anybody's got any ideas of what it might be exactly, we're would be interesting to hear your thoughts, put it in the comments. Um, all right. All right, yeah, new engines in. Everybody knows needs to go to bed. It has been a long weekend. So Monday morning, so um, as if there was never a boat in here. Yeah, back to work, earn some money.